Hi there! For this project, we will be using a number zero lace weight crochet thread and a 2 millimeter crochet hook. We will also need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle to weave in your ends. So here we are with round one of the flower. Round one, we're going to be working 12 single crochet into the magic ring or the magic circle. Once you have 12 single crochet, we're just going to tighten the ring. You can just pull the tail of your magic circle. And then we're going to work a slip stitch into the very first single crochet of this round. And that is the end of round one. Now come round two. We're going to chain three and work a double crochet into that same stitch that same stitch where you started your beginning chain 3 now we're going to do two double crochet into the next stitch and that will be the pattern for this round you're going to work two double crochet in each of the stitches until you get to the end of this round At the end of this round, we're going to slip stitch into the top chain or the third chain of our beginning chain threes. Now we do the third round. So round three, we're going to chain three and again do a double crochet into that same stitch. Now we chain one, we skip the next stitch and work two double crochet into the next stitch. So that will be the pattern for round three. We're going to work two double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip the next stitch, two double crochet into the next stitch. Now you're going to keep on repeating that very same pattern all the way around until you get to the end of round three. At the end of this round, we're going to slip stitch into the top chain of the beginning chain threes. Now come around four, we're going to chain one and work a single crochet in that very same stitch, like so, and work another single crochet into the next stitch. So basically, you will be working single crochets in each of the double crochets of the previous round now for the next stitch we will be working a popcorn stitch into the center into the chain one space from the previous row so for those of you who don't know yet what is a popcorn stitch you will basically be working five double crochet in the designated stitch now you're going to remove your hook Insert the hook into the first double crochet, pick up the working loop from behind, and slip stitch. Now chain one to close the popcorn. And now we continue with the pattern, work single crochet in the next stitch, and another single crochet into the next stitch. So basically this will be the pattern for this round. You will be working popcorn stitches in each of the chain one spaces from the previous row I mean round and single crochets in each of the double crochets at the end of round four we will work a slip stitch into the first single crochet that we did and that is the end of the round four the very last round now we will do the tail of the bookmark. I will show you. So we will be working this part right here. Now if your book is a little bit larger, you can also just extend this into whatever size you prefer. It is totally up to you. 
Now working on the tail, we're going to chain three and that will be our double crochet. Now after that in the same stitch we will be working a two double crochet decrease or double crochet two together. So. And now we're going to chain one. And in the next single crochet, we will we will do a double crochet a three together or three double crochet decrease. Yeah. So So that will be our first cluster. Now we're going to turn our work and we're going to insert our hook into that center chain one space. Pull the yarn through and we will be doing that slip stitch. Now for the second cluster we're going to chain three and again work two double crochet decrease into that same chain one space so two double crochet decrease or double crochet two together like so now we chain one and again back into that center chain one space we will work a three double crochet decrease or double crochet three together so that will be the pattern that you will keep on repeating for the tail. Turn your work and then slip stitch into the chain one space, chain three, two double crochet decrease, chain one, three double crochet decrease. So keep on repeating that until you achieve the length that you desire. Yeah? Okay, once you have the length that you need, you're going to end this by turning your work and do a slip stitch at the very end. And maybe I'm going to do a chain one just to make this more secure. Now you're going to cut the yarn enough that you can use it for the tassels for later so don't cut it too short but also don't cut it too long okay now for the tassels we're going to take the end of the yarn and wrap it around our fingers now depending on how thick you want your tassels to be, you can just keep on repeating this. You can just keep on wrapping it around until you are satisfied with the thickness. For mine, I'm fine with 20 wraps, so I'm just gonna do that right here. Let me cut the yarn off. Now be careful when you remove the string out of your hand just to keep it nice I'm just gonna take the bookmark right here now take the end of the tail from the bookmark and then we're going to insert that into the into that circle now if you want this to be longer you can just keep it longer but I'm fine with this with this length so after that we're going to tie it to secure probably do this twice just to make sure that it doesn't come off so you do it one more time okay just gonna fix this a little bit right here and now we're going to cut now we're going to take the other end of the yarn and cut 
probably 6 to 10 meters. 6 or 8 meters, that is also fine. Now we're going to put that underneath the tassels so that we can form the head. Like so. And then we're going to tie that off. So you can just to secure it right here. So you see it's starting to form now our tassels. And I'm just going to tie it one more time. So now we're going to cut off the the ends and also fix the tassels a little bit. So take your scissors and we're going to just cut this off here. So and then we're just gonna cut that nicely, and that's it. So it's totally up to you how thick you want your tassels to be. I'm fine with this thickness, so I will do that. Now for this, um, the excess yarn, you can also just uh, weave it in with a tapestry needle, but I think I will just cut mine. And that is our finished bookmark. I also made another one from white if you haven't seen the previous tutorial on my facebook page i also made a video of this there but that was in the evening so i thought i make another recording for this one so that's it friends if you like this video please uh, hit the like button below and subscribe see you next time for the next tutorial and have a good day bye